And good evening and thank you for watching Denver 7 News at 6. I'm Ann Trujillo and I'm Jessica Porter. Tonight we're following up on the police shooting death of 14 year old Jordell Richardson in Aurora earlier this month. Richardson was detained and shot in the stomach. This was back on June 1st. So police say he was a robbery suspect who was tackled after a foot chase. Well, in video released by police, you can hear the 14 year old pleading with police to stop. Number 7's Russell Haythorn spoke with Richardson's best friend, who is now doing what he can to set his life up for success. Get on the ground, I'm gonna chase you! The body cam footage has only raised further questions about the Aurora PD's conduct in this case. Go! Look on the gun! I'm gonna shoot you! Dude, I'm gonna shoot you! Oh, oh. I'm gonna I feel like it shouldn't have happened because at the end of the day, they, they, he did give up. Lorise Wilson is 14 year old Jordell Richardson's best friend and is only now speaking out about the fatal shooting me. that took his friend's life earlier this month. I'm here because of uh, Jordell. I'm here also because I know that if I keep going down the wrong path that not a lot of things got good things is going to come out of it. Larice says it's still surreal. I'm just still trying to get over that the fact that he's actually gone. Like I can't go over to his house and spend one more night with him, eat, eat another meal with him, uh, go hoop one more time with him. I can't go back to preschool where we was playing around as kids no more. I can't do none of that. And I'm just sitting here thinking like, damn, like. He's really gone now. How are you going to stand out? Less than a month after the shooting, Larice has enrolled in this leadership camp. It's not something that you can just accomplish overnight. In Northeast Denver, targeting young black males, particularly those at risk and in underserved communities. I want Larice to continue to be hungry and carry on the legacy of Jordell and use this as fuel um, and, and a reason to continue to succeed and, and be the leader of a family that he wants to uh, have one day. Kenneth Crowley II is the program director for the Crowley Foundation Leadership Summit. The need for a black man in a family in the home is vital. Right. So we understand that the black family was torn apart. So we do our diligence in making sure we build up these young kings so that they can lead homes one day so that they can lead families. A message that Larice hears loud and clear. That one mistake just trying to just trying to get some vapes took his life from all of us. And it's easy to get sucked into it like easy, easy. And a lot of people think like, oh, it's fun and it's not. In Denver. This is going to get you into scholarships, high school, college. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7. To find out more about the Crowley Foundation, just click on this story online. The foundation hosts several leadership summits for young black men throughout the year. Their next workshop in Denver